Hello fellow gamer thugs, well in this video, we're gonna talk about the PlayStation 5 design. Well two days ago, we've been treated with the PlayStation 5 event, it's been, it's been a long time coming, we've been waiting for a really long time, and finally, we saw it. We, we've been introduced to a lot of new games, well the standout thing is Spider-Man Horizon Zero Dawn 2, well, well, that's a different topic for a different video. But then we've been treated with the console itself, the PlayStation 5 console itself, the reveal event, that's the catch in that whole event. Well, the design. How do you guys think it looks like? I mean, uh, PlayStation 5 design has been receiving some criticism. I mean, good and bad alike. Well, some people are hating for the design and some people love it. And <laughs> let's, look at some, uh, let's take a look at some of the funny memes right now. The PlayStation 5 design actually looks like a taco. A Wi-Fi router, a hot dog, really? And this is the most funniest thing. Donald Duck's beak, really? Donald Duck's beak? <laughs> That's crazy. Well, all the bad things aside, I want to, I want to tell you, I want, I want to tell you personally that uh, this PlayStation 5 design is too futuristic. It's like it's from a Jets Jetson time. Do you guys remember Jetsons? I mean, many would. Well, of all the cartoon series, it's actually based on the futuristic lifestyle and everything like the 100 years after how we are now. Everything from TV and the whole lifestyle is from a futuristic. And PlayStation 5 actually time travel from there to us. And it, and it certainly looks like that. It does look like a, a alien tech. And but but on the negative side, I want I want to tell this. If you, if you guys would uh, stack up the entire consoles, you know, like from PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 2, Xbox 360, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X, well, the PlayStation 5 is kind of too big. I mean, like, it's like a, a tower cabinet. It's from, uh, like, an Alienware PC. Yeah, it's too big. The idea about console is that it should be small, compact, and it should fit in any confined space. But they have promised that this this design is actually meant for, you know, doesn't matter the size of it, the config and everything, it is meant to be perfect. Like, the ventilation is perfect, the heating issue in PlayStation 4, oh, we all know that the sound of our fans, man, when we play Spider-Man, God of War, even Pro Evolution Soccer and Call of Duty Warzone, the fan, I mean, like, the fan, ugh. It spins around like a jet engine. The whole sound. My, I mean, if you, if you guys ask me personally, I would say it's too loud. I need to increase the volume or use my headphones to play this game. Though I mean, the whole room <laughs> feels like a generator running down here. All right, let's put that down aside. Well, now on the other side, let's say let's say on the positive side, the console design looks amazing. Yes, it is futuristic and everything, the ventilation, well, uh, Sony promised that the ventilation and the cooling system is industry defining, yep, <laughs> but we, we need to get our hands on it first. And one more thing guys, it, this is an update, well, in India, it's gonna cost a lot, PlayStation 5 is not gonna come cheap, Xbox on the other side, are ready to take a, I don't know, price cut? just to be the PlayStation 5, only to beat the PlayStation 5 in the first year alone by reducing the price. I don't know the price point right now, maybe, maybe some are listing and some are, you know, some YouTubers are already claiming that it's gonna be like a $600 machine, I don't know, $600, ugh. The configuration is worth, well, if you, if you could buy a PC for that, maybe this configuration, we couldn't get it. So in the console style, uh, maybe a six hundred dollars could be worth it, but six hundred dollars is a lot What if Xbox could sell their console for four fifty dollars? Dude, that's gonna be so crazy People are gonna not even gonna notice the PlayStation when you're gonna launch it for six hundred dollars and and the Xbox is only gonna cost you four hundred That's that's really cool, but it won't be like that. I don't think it will be like four hundred maybe Five hundred or something, and and PS5 would cost uh, six hundred. But but the, but there's a good thing about it. PlayStation Five now comes with two designs. One is a regular, you know, you have a flow of 4K Blu-ray disc drive and everything. And the other one is a discless edition. Do you guys understand the? Uh, do you guys remember the uh, Xbox Sat edition? I don't know why they call it that. <laughs> yeah, it has no disc. Well, yeah, it's like an abbreviation. Well, they are right about that. <laughs> Sad edition. Okay. 
well the thing about that is you don't need to have a, a 4k disk drive and many in this modern time they don't care about the disk but still there are people there are consumers out there they still care about the disk they want to sell their disk they trade in and trade out yes well but the digital market has been grown really well and actually xbox predicted this in 2013 itself but uh well they got a lot of backfire for that so they came out in the traditional way now and now sony wants to do the same uh just like the xbox they want to do the uh digital thing that's going to conquer the industry everything is going to be so digital right now and forward moving on well that's how it is all right guys so what do you guys think about the playstation 5 design you could comment below and i want i want you guys to know uh well in our channel i don't know if we're gonna if we're gonna get this in the day one since we are in india maybe the production is not aimed at us in the first place i mean uh europe and america and japan would be the first target for the playstation uh selling point the marketing point yes india is slowly growing into the gaming industry but still uh with the European American well we're not matching yet that yet but still we can do great great with the gaming yet and if the PlayStation 5 would be you know coming to us uh, in November the holiday season would be November and December right if that is possible we could buy this and we could unbox this on the channel right for you guys and I hope you guys like it and 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 in the next video we're gonna talk about the playstation 5 exclusive games and the downside of it not being in the playstation 4 let's talk about that in the next video thank you guys for listening to this feed so much i want you guys to support us and subscribe and comment and click the bell icon man yeah and all right gamer thugs we are out thank you for listening goodbye guys